From the Edo Fitri celebration, 24 persons have been rescued with nine others confirmed dead at the site of the building that collapsed at Ibadan Street, Ibutemeta, here in Lagos. Those so far rescued include 23 males and one female. Six males and four females have been confirmed dead at the scene. Tiverson News correspondent Fifilus Elema has more. This was once the building that collapsed at Ibutemeta, a Lagos suburb. The building, which has about 13 flats, was said to have been marked for demolition after it failed an integrity test carried out on the building. Owners of the said building revealed that the occupants were told to evacuate after the test and their rent monies returned to them. We had a meeting with the occupants in respect of this, that please, this place is not suitable for you to, to live in again. Just leave this house. At the same vein, we, we held a meeting from January, February, we held a meeting with them. And on that note, uh, a Lagos State Agency, they came serving, 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 serving. Ah. And these people, we told them that this place is not safe for you again. Though. You better relocate before it's too late. We gave them money for them to leave the place, but they refused. Before our arrival, the first responders, which are the community members, they mobilized themselves to carry out rescue. And they did a lot in the rescue effort. So by the time we got there, we only incorporated them and we started working together. This building has been sealed. Early warning has been issued out around this building. That this is a distressed building. However, it is important to know that some people comply with this early warning why some did not comply with the early warning. Emergency responders have been on hand to rescue those trapped in the rubble. According to officials of the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, seven children and 17 adults were rescued. Another building just across the street was said to have been marked for demolition. The government had planned to demolish the building, but they were stopped by residents who disagreed with the decision. This particular building was marked, I mean, was checked three years ago and it went through integrity and it's passed. We served the several notices. If they have that report, they need to bring it forward. And I have to uh, tell you that um, uh, material testing uh, and testing of material, they still need to do to bring a structural engineer, engage a structural engineer to do a complete assessment of that property. This latest incident is said to be the second building collapse to be recorded in the Yabai Buttermeta axis of the state in almost three months. So far, those rescued have been taken to government medical facilities for medical attention. Theophilus Elama, TVC News, Lagos.